You know, it is our egos that make us feel physically heavy. In fact, somebody who is awake can spot somebody who is very deeply in their ego by how they walk and how they move, and it will all have a heaviness to, the, to them. You know, we talk about the ego, but you know, it can be theoretical. We don't realize how much carrying this belief system impacts our lives. So, you know, there's this heaviness that I'm talking about that people often feel, especially as they get past their 30s. You know, things are just heavy and they feel burdened. And often, you know, you have mortgages and maybe jobs that are demanding. But you can have a mortgage and a demanding job. And if you're not bound by your ego, you can do your actions quite lightly, very lightly. Yeah, and being bound by your ego just means, you know, getting past your ego is just letting your awareness grow past the old boundaries of what you think life is, you know, your ideas of good and bad or your ideas of a proper way of living. Now, I'm not suggesting that everybody starts behaving very badly because that has a tyranny of all of its own, but maybe there's more room for you to be able to listen to your heart and be true to yourself than you realize. But maybe nobody is going to get upset with you if you just move a little bit closer to your own heart. And, you know, the proof will be that you feel lighter physically and happier. Mm -hmm. So you have more energy mm -hmm. and more delight in life. Yeah. So there's the heaviness that is a sign of the ego. And the other feeling that is a big sign of the ego is a feel feeling of that there's no space, that you have no maneuvering room at all. You have no space to be, no choice. That you have very narrow lines with which you have to follow. Now, somebody could be living in a way where they're, you know, doing their soul duty and they're living a very simple, quiet life, but they won't experience it like narrow. They'll experience that actually they're free and light. You see, it's, you, you know, it is possible for someone to have the freest life on the outside, maybe full of travel, maybe not even working, having to turn up at a job, but inside they might feel that they have very little space, very little space for themselves. And they may always feel kind of a heaviness around them. And really as if they're surrounded by some kind of subtle container. And because their energies are being contained by the subtle container that's the ego. And you know, you can grow past the ego through love. Yeah, you do it through love, through love and acceptance of yourself, love and acceptance of your life, and love and acceptance of others. Now, if your ego gets involved in this, it will tell you it's really hard to do this, and that you're not good enough to do it, probably. Or how are you possibly lovable? You know, the ego can be so tricky. And, you know, it's come from our conditioning, but the Eastern sages say it's come from many other lifetimes. So there have been many other lifetimes, perhaps, where you lived lives based on these beliefs. So it feels real to you in a way, in a deep way, that, you know, maybe that you, you're not good enough. But, dear one, please, 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 understand that you are a divine being in human form and this is a brave thing to even come here to the earth you know the East, eastern sages say that life on earth is considered you know a tough job that it's like 
going to an Ivy League university from our sole perspective. And the people who <laughs> survived the earth plane and completed are very, these souls are highly respected. <laughs> Which kind of actually makes sense to me from <laughs> what it's like going through all the challenges here on earth. But we can grow beyond it because we're divine beings and you're a divine being first underneath. And over top of that, your ego is superimposed. And you know, you really your parents or caregivers didn't do your conditioning to you because really you brought it in from other lives, you know, it was your belief system from other lives, but it is outgrowable. And you can just gradually allow your awareness to grow. And you do that by remembering that you're not just a human being, that you're more than that. And what I did, I made my goal early on, like decades ago, I made my goal to more than make money or anything was to be a deeply loving person to myself and to others. That was my goal. That was my gold standard. That was my measuring stick. That was everything. And, you know, I was considered a little eccentric back in those days. But it it's ending well. So... <laughs> <laughs> so that's the proof positive, you know, you, you, you finally do get the knowledge, you know, you, if you serve love, it comes, you become loving and then you receive love, you know, dreams come true. Okay, just, just keep going and don't believe your ego voices and don't believe the fear. Don't fight it, because fear gets bigger when you fight it, but just don't believe it because it's, it's baloney. Love wins. Fear is nothing but smoke and mirrors, you know. And you, this is from a spiritual veteran. Like, this is what I discovered after facing great fear. And it's all just nothing. Just evaporated. Okay. Have patience. Bless your hearts. You're good enough.